Good morning. Hey there. What are we doing today? Well, today we are going to stuff my car binder. I do this every paycheck. I take out, I think, $50 or $60. We'll count that in a minute. And roll the dice and let the money randomly go where it needs to go. My name is Lisa, and as always, I'm super glad you're here today. I really appreciate it when you show up. So, we have our lucky die and we have our money. Let's see how much money we actually have. So I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yes, okay, $60. I knew that, but I didn't, so. Okay, so we have several categories, six. Maintenance, tags and registration, which is completely funded. New tires, because tires ain't pretty. Oil change deductible and a new car but this is a down payment on a new car so these are new dashboards that saved with judy sent me and i decided to use them i like them they're very neat and tidy so i'm going to use them for a few times and see um, how much i like them i do like my bright yellow ones but these are cute too so i appreciate it judy thank you so much for thinking of me okay we have our money, we have our dice, so let's get started. Three, one, two, three, new tires. We don't need tires yet, but we will need tires soon. And, oh, three. We run two vehicles. My husband, he drives more miles than me. His truck, let's see, is he on his second set of tires? His, I think his second set. His truck currently has 130,000 miles on it. My car has 75,000. Four, oil change. This could be under repairs or maintenance, but I just like to keep it separate for now. Um, I have 75,000. I think I'm on my second set or first set. I'm not sure. He might be on his third set. You know, I need to keep track of that stuff. But regardless, he's going to need tires before me. This is just a general maintenance fund. And we got to get ready for that. That's going to be at least a thousand dollars. New car, new down, a down payment on a new vehicle or new to us vehicle. That's slow and steady. And actually I've just been funding it with um, my, what other binder is that? Revolving binder and this binder. I haven't done a specific savings challenge for it yet. Tags and registration is funded. So we'll give that to new tires. Um, tags for us for the two vehicles is typically 125 and I have 140 in it because everything's going up and it's not due until February one general fund general fund and I am thinking let me know what you think I am thinking about at the end of the year pulling all this money and just putting it in the bank I mean it sounds like a good idea Ooh. Tags and registration, so we're going to give you the new tires. Um, just because I think we'll have some automotive expenses next year, and it'll just save me trips to the bank. And even if we don't, that money can then earn interest. And I'll just do the tracking on the trackers. Oh, new car! So I'd like to get some of that deductible. Let's let's roll a five. Our deductible is five hundred per person. Two. Well, you know what? We're going to give you. Five dollars because two is what tags and registration you're not getting any you're full so we'll give you a little bit of attention and then just start over with this binder or something similar to this binder in January four oh two three four oil change so I think that is what we're going to do just thinking about it three what is three one two three New tires so um, let me know what do you think I mean you know if you've been here a while you know I kind of struggle with keeping track of the cash and everything like for real so you're getting 10 don't be sticking oh my god why are you sticking so let's add this 10 here this is 11 18 it's 55 plus the 10 will be 65 and I have 547 in the bank 
break out that calculator because this mapping is not easy for me. 547 plus 65 is 612. So that's not right. Yeah, that is right. 612. Maybe it's because I do addition or math on, you know, on the camera. I don't know. So we will put you in there. You should be 65. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just put it all in the bank and then just keep track. You don't get anything because Tags has 140. Tires. These tires ain't pretty. Tires will have, and you can see here I added, the shadows are long, this sun thing is something. The alphabet bucks, 18, first check of November. Um, I added $25 from the alphabet, alphabet bucks challenge that brought us up to 250. What do we have here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we're adding 25 more and that will give us 275. And that's fantastic. See, I'm, I'm carrying all this cash and I need to just put it in the bank. I'm not gonna count it. You know it's there. So, um, yeah. And maybe just make a placeholder for each envelope, but that gets confusing too. I am considering just using a spreadsheet, but you know, every time I consider it, it's never a good idea because spreadsheets and me are not friends at all. I'm just not, my mind is, my poor brain is not wired that way. I think I took Excel in college way back, like 20,000 years ago. 11, 11, 18, first check of November, when we get, and I dropped it. I thought, ooh, it hurt my head. It hurt my brain. So I went back to school later in life because I went back for ultrasound. And um, that was a great career. But I didn't go back till I was like 35. 120, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Well, that came out right. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't get spreadsheets or Excel. It just kind of, oh, all that clicking did me in. I like to watch other people do them. It's, it's fascinating to me. So, let's see. We have... Um, Let's see, we have 255, so we're going to add 5. <sighs> what is today? 11.19. And the first check of November, that's $5, so that's 260. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Once this gets funded, and I did add alphabet bucks for this too. I guess I had two bundles of it so long ago I don't remember but we need to get that to the bank and that's what I think I'll do I'll just cash it all in at the end of the year and start over with the binder oops that makes sense for right now but yeah let me know what you think because you know how I struggle with my math and this is for a new car down payment to a new car I clear this out every quarter and send it over to the sinking fund no I send it over to the binder then I have to when I get $500, I'll send it to my sinking fund. My one of many, 11, 18, don't know. You could ask me how many. I'll tell you what, you can guess how many sinking funds I have at Capital One. That in itself is an adventure. That's $10 and that'll be 30, but slow and steady. So, is that 30? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. And she made, now she has these, Judy has these available in her store. I'll link her down below. And she has another one for repair, and I might use that one. So these are very cute. Thank you, Judy, for thinking of me. And then I'll go check out her Etsy. Where does this go? This goes in maintenance, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So maybe that's what we'll do. Just put it all in the bank at the end of the year and then just kind of reboot. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. Make sure you like the video. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider it. And if you just watch, I really appreciate you too. All right, have a great day. Bye.